So now we're going to look at looping through our features and plotting the distributions. So we'll start with the continuous. So we create a list of our features that we want to do that are continuous variables, and we've created a list of categorical features. So we'll go through those in the list. So we want to do the, the style and the syntax in Python is for feature, and that's going to be total, HP, attack, as we loop through the list, features continuous list. We're going to pull each one of those items out at a time, and we're going to put it into seaborn sns.dis plot, and we go data equals df, x equals our feature. We're going to set a height of four, and an aspect is how many times the height you want to do. So if you did an aspect of one, it'd be four by four, it'd be a nice square. But we want these to be long distributions, so we do an aspect of two. So that basically means the width now is uh, eight. And you can see here we automatically get a nice set of plots. Now this works well for a distribution of continuous variables, but if we wanted to look at distribution of categorical features, again we assign the features of category to a list, and we're going to loop through this list. So for feature in features category, type one, type two, generation and legendary, we're going to get four plots, and we're going to put the feature into the X argument in the SNS.count plot, data equals DF, X equals the feature that we're looping through. And one special thing that we did here is because we're going to have a lot of categories in some of our features, we want to rotate the labels just a little bit so that we can, they're a little bit clearer and easier to read. So we'll do that with matplotlib. So plot.xtix rotation 65 degrees, and then we're showing each plot. And you can see here we get a nice distribution of all of our categorical features.